Hello, and welcome to our poster presentation entitled State of the Nation, K-12 e-learning in Canada. The 2020 version of this research project and annual report was undertaken by Michael Barber of Toro University, California, Randy Labonte of the Canadian e-learning network, and Joelle Nagel of the University of Windsor. The purpose of this comprehensive annual study is to examine the current state of all forms of K-12 e-learning in Canada, including distance, online, and blended learning. More specifically, it is designed to address two research questions. One, how is K-12 distance, online, and blended learning governed in each province, territory, and federally? And two, what is the level of K-12 distance, online, and blended learning activity occurring in each province, territory, and federally. Using surveys, interviews with Ministry of Education personnel and individual e-learning program leaders, as well as analysis of documents and other public materials. While many provinces and territories continue to have some reference to distance education in the Education Act or Schools Act, in most instances these references simply define distance education or give the Minister of Education in that province or territory the ability to create, approve, or regulate K-12 distance education. British Columbia and Nova Scotia are still the most regulated provinces based on either legislation or collective agreements respectively. Interestingly, during the 2019-2020 school year, Ontario became the first Canadian jurisdiction to require online learning in order to graduate from high school. They require two courses for students that are graduating beginning in the year 2023-24. Based on actual and estimated enrollment data, the number of students engaged in K-12 distance and online learning was 310,582, or approximately 6% of the overall K-12 student population. Ontario has the highest number of students participating in distance and online learning, but Ontario is also the most populated province. Alberta has the highest proportion of students engaged in distance and online learning. The overall number of K-12 students involved in distance and online learning has remained relatively steady over the past decade, within approximately 1% of the overall population, hovering in the range between 5 and 6%. We continue to believe this stability represents the variability in the accuracy of data collection. For example, approximately half of the 14 jurisdictions are still only able to provide estimates, approximation, or delayed data. Students from all 13 provinces and territories continue to participate in K-12 distance and online learning opportunities. Most jurisdictions continue to have either primarily district-based programs or district-based programs along with provincial programs. The exception to this trend is in Atlantic Canada and Northern Canada. In Atlantic Canada, the dominant model is the use of a single province-wide program, with the exception of Prince Edward Island, which doesn't have any distance or online learning program of its own. In Northern Canada, both the Yukon and the Northwest Territories continue to develop their own online learning programs. However, all three territories still utilize distance or online learning programs from the southern provinces, notably Alberta and British Columbia. While data on the level of blended learning has been collected since the 2014-2015 school year, the vast majority of jurisdictions do not formally track participation in blended learning programs, and the data that is collected is quite unreliable. Previous editions of this report have provided data based on numbers of student accounts in the provincially licensed learning management system, but that doesn't necessarily mean that those students were actually using those accounts or that they were using them for the purposes of blended learning. That data also excludes students and teachers that may be engaged in blended learning activities, courses, or programs that didn't use the provincially licensed learning management system. Additionally, blended learning activity has been estimated from data collected in the individual program surveys but this instrument is only circulated directly to e-learning programs or programs that were known to have engaged in distance and online learning. Due to the problematic nature of the K-12 blended learning activity data, as authors we decided to exclude any presentation of the overall activity 
for the 2019-2020 school year. No accounting of the 2019-2020 school year would be complete without some comment on the global pandemic that was declared by the World Health Organization on 11 March 2020. Within days, jurisdictions all around the world began to close schools, and Canada was no different. The Canadian e-learning network engaged us as authors to embark on a remote learning research project which was designed to delineate how each jurisdiction managed their emergency remote teaching throughout the pandemic. A series of reports that detail those findings can be found on the project website, as can the full State of the Nation K-12 e-learning in Canada report for this past school year, as well as previous school years. Finally, we'd like to thank our project partner, the Canadian e-learning network, our publisher, Open School BC, and our research sponsors, Virtual High School Ontario, Learn, and the Ontario Virtual School.